Pascal's wager. What is it and why does it matter? Find out in three minutes or less. When it comes for arguments for theism, they typically fall into two brackets. The first being the more of a traditional epistemic arguments such as the cosmological argument, design and ontology. The second kind of arguments, which are considered to be more modern and pragmatic, care about more of the benefit of believing in God as opposed to whether it's right or wrong. The Will to Believe by William James is an example of this. And so is this video's topic, Pascal's Wager. Pascal, philosopher, mathematician and scientist, pretty much said that if we cannot prove or disprove God's existence, we should go for the safer option of believing. As you can imagine, considering Pascal's math background, this argument comes in three parts, all of which stem from something called decision theory. Stick with me here while I try to explain it through this example. Let's say there are a hundred tickets at one dollars each and a jackpot of one thousand dollars. Is it rational to play? If you total the earnings and expenses for all of the tickets and then divide them by the number of tickets, you will find out on average each ticket nets nine dollars. In comparison, not playing involves zero expense and zero payoff. Since nine dollars is preferred over zero dollars, it is rational to play. Now, changing it up a bit, suppose there are a thousand tickets costing two dollars each and a grand prize of a thousand dollars and maybe a consolation prize of five hundred dollars. Then the total earnings and expenses divided by the number of tickets yields a net loss of 50 cents for the average ticket. In this case, unless you have some reason to believe that the given ticket is not average, playing the game is irrational. Using the same logic and rational thinking from our gambling example, if you choose to believe in God and he does exist, you'll get an infinite reward in heaven. But if you choose to believe in God and he doesn't exist, you'll miss out on nothing. However, if we turn the tables around and you choose not to believe in God and he does exist, there's nothing but an eternal damnation waiting for you. And similarly to before, if you decide not to believe in God and he doesn't exist, you miss out on nothing. So, to summarize, Pascal's wager essentially says that nothing bad could or will happen from believing in God in this life or the next. And to counteract the so-called conundrum of which God to believe in and what God to worship, three of the world's major religions, Islam, Christianity and Judaism, all worship one God. So therefore, this alone increases your chances of the success in the hereafter. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.